Hey everyone, it's Dan here from TalesInsDaily.co.uk. Today I'm with Tom and we're looking at Steger's latest blade, the Infinity VPS. Firstly, what we really notice about this blade is that it's very light and it's only approximately 85 grams. The blade is 5 ply and built with Steger's veneer precision system with two handed selected middle veneers. The blade is very comfortable in the hand, the sharp edges can easily be sanded down to your preference and you can buy the blade for a reasonable price. The surface is finished with Steger's diamond touch technology giving the outer layers extra hardness. Me and Tom put this blade to the test using the Steger Calibra Tour medium rubbers, looking at the blade's speed, control, feeling, sweet spot and more. First up, the forehand top spin. When playing, we instantly found there was a nice crisp feeling when contacting the ball. The blade felt very light and it had a large sweet spot, which provided us with a greater margin for error. The blade was very impressive when playing close to the table, and due to the hardness of the blade, we were able to generate a lot of speed whilst maintaining the control. When playing away from the table, the ball produced a fairly low arc, so we had difficulties at times to propel the ball with good spin and depth, especially when the player was out of position. A technique required a lot of effort. Backhand top spin. During backhand exchanges, we felt we had a lot of control in this department, playing aggressively mixing speed and spin. Punching shots were of ease with this blade too. Blocking. Due to the blade having a large sweet spot area, we found that it was very easy to block and that minimal effort was required. As you can see in the clip here, when I am putting in maximal effort against Tom, he's able to block the ball comfortably. Touch play and flicks. A great attribute about this blade was its ability in the short game. The large sweet spot, as we previously mentioned, allowed us to touch the ball short without having to be too precise. Whilst we had a lot of control touching the ball short, the ball required accurate timing on the forehand flick. If timed well, the ball propelled very fast. However, when slightly mistimed, the ball would fly off the table. We found a more controlled flick was more effective, particularly on the backhand side. As you can see here in the footage, even against heavy backspin serves, we could produce a great amount of spin. This first spin allowed us to attack the next ball effectively to win the point. Counter top spins. The blade speed allowed us to produce winning counter top spins almost every time when contact was made well. If the bat angle came up slightly, however, the ball was difficult to direct. A forward motion technique was required. Spin and match play. Here are a collection of points which show how we were able to get good arc and spin with ease when a lot of dwell time was spent on the ball. The sweet spot in the blade allowed us to lift heavy backspin balls with minimal effort. The hardness of the wood allowed us to play strong and aggressive once we had made the first open up. Also notice in the clips here, we were both able to play fast punching shots with the backhand side very comfortably when necessary.
Conclusion Firstly, we'd like to thank Steger in supplying Tabletons Daily with this equipment to review. To conclude, the Infinity FPS certainly had a great feel when playing. The blade felt firm and light in the hand. The blade felt more suited close to the table. At times away from the table, a lot of effort was required to produce good arc on the ball. The main advantage of this blade is its control, which is really notable in blocking, serve and receives and counter top spins. Overall, this blade is ideal for the modern offensive player who likes to play aggressively close to the table, mixing speed, spin and control. It is also important to highlight the rubbers used in this review were Steger's Klebertor mediums. These rubbers are on the medium to hard side. Perhaps with a more harder and faster rubber, this blade will work well away from the table. We hope you enjoyed this review on the Stego Infinity VPS. Be sure to check out the link below for more information on various Tabletons Daily equipment reviews. Stay tuned for more.